I am Ellen Kraft. I am an escaped slave on the run. My husband, William, and I are on our way to Philadelphia for our freedom, to start our new life together and out of our old slave life. I am black, but light-skinned because my mother's former slave owner raped her. Now I am pretending to be a white southern man, William, as my slave. Because I can't read or write, I have prepared my arm in a cast, claiming I have rheumatism. I also had William cut my long hair so it wouldn't be seen under the top hat I have put on. I tied a handkerchief around my chin so I wouldn't be forced to talk as much, and my fake name is Mr. Williams. Due to technical difficulties and complications with developing the first scene, I will explain what happens. First, Ellen and William are on board a steamboat. They get off because during the winter season, the ride has to be divided into two separate rides with two different steamboats. Ellen knows that some way along the journey, she will be asked to sign her name. She just didn't realize it would be there. So she pays her $1 fare when the ticket man asks her to sign. She indicates her rheumatic arm and asks if he would sign for her. He's shocked and says no immediately. But a young Southern military man she met earlier comes to her rescue. He claims he knows her kin like a book and will sign for her. That's when she remembers he's drunk. She thanks him anyway and starts on her way. There's a train officer would like to see you. Okay. Do you wish to see me, sir? Yes. As you see, it is against our rules there to allow any person to take a slave out of Baltimore or into Philadelphia. I'm not seeking to satisfy that he has to be anymore. Why is that? Don't you know anyone in Baltimore that can vote for you? No, I bought tickets in Charleston to take us through to Philadelphia. Therefore, you have no right to detain us here. Well, if they're right or not right, we shan't let you go. Well, let this gentleman slave pass. As you see, he's not well. It's wrong. Excuse me, have you seen my slave? No, I haven't seen him in some time. I have no doubt he's in Philadelphia free by now. Will you help me find him? I'm no slave hunter. Go find him yourself. I ended up finding William in the luggage car. He had fallen asleep. We celebrated our first day of freedom on Christmas Day in Philadelphia. We moved to England and had five children. We got a formal education and gave lectures about our experience. We wrote our story and titled it Running a Thousand Miles for Freedom. We bought William's mother and sister out of slavery with the proceeds from the book. After that, my mother moved to come live with us. When the Civil War ended, William and I moved to Georgia and opened a school for former slaves. We taught them to read, write, and pursue trades like carpentry and sewing. Due to technical difficulties, that was perfect. Due to technical difficulties, oh my gosh, I can't do this. Goes her kin like a book, and will sign for her. Oh, I forgot. Grace is in the back, squeaking. Oh my gosh.